So that must be where. So run your game. Florence Obiomahavu, who passed on to glory here in Houston, Texas. Date, Friday, April 26, 2019. 4 p.m. Viewing. 5 p.m. Reaping Mass, both at Notre Dame Catholic Church, 7720 Boone Road, Houston, Texas. Celebration of Life continues same day, April 26, 2019, from 9 p.m. till dawn. Venue, Virtuosity Banquet Hall, 9819 Bissonnette Street, Houston, Texas. Friends, family, colleagues, neighbors, case men and women, and to be the one that knows me. My name is Ifeo Foka. On behalf of myself and family, I am inviting everyone to please join me to celebrate the life of my mother. Please name me Mrs. Florence Rupioma Mohammed, who slept peacefully. And the Lord on February 8, 2019, here yesterday. I will be with on Friday, April 26th, 2019. For further information, please contact If your Foka 832 245 4376, Eji Kohago 347 545 6459. Humphrey of Foka, 832-787-2630. Sonny Anibata, 832-762-8804. Charles Inken, 713-548-3613. Emeka Ozibo, 281-965-4027. to be written by Chioma, my daughter. I said, Mama, what about me? She said, Mama, I swear you No. I said, okay, no problem. She specifically told me how she wants to be dressed up. I said, Mama, you've been harassing me with this. I hope you're not going to die soon. I said, Mama, it's okay, Mama, let's talk. Hard to have talk. You've been harassing me. What do you want? He said, the day I will die. I said, okay, what kind of wedding gown do you want? If it's not in America, I'm going to order it. What kind of lace do you want? Is it voile lace? Is it Swiss lace? Is it Hancock? I'm going to order it. If I don't have the money, I will tell Notre Dame to do capital campaign on my behalf. 
And she laughed and laughed and laughed. I said, you are okay with your wife. Keep your lace, keep your wedding gown. I said, Mama, so what? He said, all I need is sacred heart of Jesus and immaculate heart of Mary's fabric. Use it and make any outfit for me. Wear me my scapulas. Give me my rosary. I said, what about the sacred heart handbook? He said, up and up, it's in here. But I don't need any regalia, sacred heart clothes. I give glory to God. Thank you all for coming. Despite this tight schedule this evening, despite everything that is happening everywhere, you made out time to come and celebrate my mother with me. God will bless you. God will bless you. God will meet you at the point of your need. And when you go home, go home safely. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your children shall celebrate you. Why I celebrated my mother. In the mighty name of Jesus. DJ Brown, thank you very much, DJ Brown. I know you know the stuff, man, but we've got to follow the protocols. We have to follow the program of events right here. Please, DJ. Cool, 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 bro. Yes, I'm calling on uh, the daughter, the the granddaughter, the one that she chose to you give a urology about her, Miss Miss Amanda Ofoka. Amanda, where are you? Come and give us what you got for your grandma. Come on, Amanda. Yes, you know grandma very well. She interacts with you every time. Give us what you know about her. Good evening, everyone. Lazy. Many friends and well-wishers have expressed their condolences about my grandmother. Sympathizing with how difficult things can be with a family member constantly in and out of the hospital or with poor health. However, with each day that comes since she passed away on February 8th, I realize more and more just exactly how grateful I am for all the moments I was able to spend with her in these last few years of her life. Each day, I find myself reminiscing more and more of the time she and I spent together. When a loved one passes away, it's so easy to remember them maybe a little too well. Please, ladies and gentlemen, who have to pay attention to what this young girl is saying. Too much noise on the floor. I wouldn't appreciate it. Listen to the grandchild of this little woman. She's giving urology about her grandma. And this is very important. Educate. Stop conversation on the floor. Educate. Please. I want everybody to sit up and keep quiet and listen to this lady. But to me, the only fault Grandma committed was leaving behind all of her children, all of her grandchildren, all of her friends, her brothers and sisters, all the people gathered here today. We miss you, Grandma. There's not a single day that has gone by where I don't think of her. My grandmother was truly a unique woman. Yes, there's so much of my life ahead of me and I haven't met much people, but I can say with the utmost certainty that I won't come across anyone else like her ever again. When she was staying with us, she would go out of her way to love us as much as humanly possible. In spite of her old age, in spite of her health, in spite of everything. I remember days where I'd come home after school from basketball practice or dance rehearsal and she'd have cleaned the whole kitchen, stood all the dishes on my behalf and still sit in that same spot on the living room couch to greet me with the biggest of smiles and the warmest of hugs. The greatest gift my grandmother ever gave me was insight. I'll admit, I'm at the age where I think I know just about everything there is to know, which couldn't be further from the truth. But knowing her for the brief time that I did definitely changed my perspective on a lot of things in this world. I admired her, and I still do. And as of now, I strive to emulate her, all of her best character traits, like how loving she was to anybody and everybody. I've given a deep thought, and I cannot recall one instance where she didn't greet somebody with open arms. And prudence to the Lord and her relationship with God was truly unbreakable. That kind of devotion is something that I've always thought highly of. That woman did a lot of prayer, honestly, every time, everywhere, for everybody. Her children and grandchildren, her friends and fellow churchgoers, her doctors treating her in the hospital, regardless of everything. But with, even with everything she had going on, she always maintained such an optimistic view and appreciation for everything and everyone in the world. 
Her kindness, generosity, and love has truly been an inspiration to me over the past two years. She always reminded me, in one way or the other, of the beauty, joy, and gratitude that can be found even in everyday life. I was nervous about delivering this eulogy, honestly. I didn't know how I would do it, and at times I didn't know if I even could do it. But my main source of comfort and reassurance came from my grandmother, believe it or not. It came from remembering how much she wanted me specifically to write and read this. Not any of her seven or mainly children, not any of her other 17 grandchildren, but me in particular. A big responsibility and an even bigger honor. Grandma truly emphasized on it several times before she passed away, almost as if she knew her time would soon be up. So I poured my heart into this. This letter that I'm reading before everyone today is me personally honoring her in the best way I know because I know she's up in heaven alongside her creator, smiling down on us, smiling down on me in this moment. I love you, Grandma. Rest in peace. Wow. Wonderful. Wonderful. This is a very brilliant, enthusiastic, egotistic, special eulogy by a young adult Miss Amanda Ofoka, oh, one them wine. Papi, I want them walking. Everyone are there, they are Yes. Miko, at this point in time, Amanda, thanks you very much for giving Grandma the special tribute you give to her, the way you try to emulate her and, uh, you know, acquire some knowledge culturally. That is anthropology going back to the ancient time because the children of this time wouldn't understand that and they wouldn't try to emulate their grandmas so i know you'll be a good wife to whoever that comes to my family to ask your hand for marriage and it's gonna be a big dollars i don't want i want palm and steering please gentlemen yeah at this time i'm gonna i have to call the people the family to go to the high table this table has been open since Please, you have to go out first and come in, officially. Amen. God is good. All the time. We have to finish what we began before they go out and come in, okay? All right, thank you. So this time, I would like to invite us to play stand so that we can conclude. Then we begin the second phase. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, our Redeemer, you willingly gave yourself up to death so that all might be saved and pass from death to life. We humbly ask you to comfort your servants in their grief and to receive your daughter, our mother and grandmother, Florence Ohago, into the arms of your mercy. You alone are the Holy One. You are mercy itself. By dying, you unlocked the gates of life for those who believe in you. Forgive Florence her sins and grant her a place of happiness, light and peace in the kingdom of your glory forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are those who have died in the Lord. Let them rest from their labors, for their good deeds go with them. Eternal rest grant unto Florence, O Lord. May the soul of Florence and the souls of all the faithful departed. May the soul of Florence and the souls of all the faithful departed. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Now at this very moment, MC, you can now come and tell us the next thing to do. So I'm done with you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Reverend Father Soldier.
Sebastian Okoye. You people don't know why we call him soldier. He acts like a soldier. Yes, even though he's a reverend father. If there's war, he will come and pick up the gun. Yes, at this time, before the family goes off, out to come in, I'm calling on the chief, Arin Zechuku Ijin Iloka, to just say a short, very short prayer for the colonel, please, because he's there. They brought the colonel. Chief Arin Zechuku Iloka, please, come over here. Okay. Yeah, please, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we have bank over there, like uh, that doll. You see this tall lady? Yeah, she has the change. If you need some change, ask. Ask her if you need some change. Because once they go up, come in, we have to usher them in. And we have to kind of show our love. <laughs> Hand side of the of the hall. If you want to get your change, although they are moving around, Jessica is moving around with the envelopes. Okay. Yeah, the change is there. All of you have your change. Yeah, when the dance is spray, then we we'll get and give more change to others. Please be here with us. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the brief family is coming in right now. 
I know we have to assure them he is. You can show their love. DJ Brown, give us what you want.
Groups and I know 
Most of you have gotten your chains. If you have not gotten your chains the first time because of some people holding their chains, now they have spread. You can come now to the le my left hand side, close to the door, to get change for the next. Because I'm going to go group by group. Please, the entertainment and refreshment. The food people placed past foods on the tables. Then the drink has been going on around all since. The food, women, please serve food on the tables. Don't miss nobody. I don't want no complaint. Anybody coming up to me here to say I haven't got any plates. Go ahead and serve the, the food before they come out at the game for the dancing group by group. Thank you. DJ Brown, give us something. Thank you.
If you are a friend of her, show her the love right now. DJ Brown, give us a nice one. Come on, come 
You know when you say antelopes in the forest? Yeah, so I, that's why I stopped this music. Because they can keep on dancing and entertaining the visitors here instead of raping the fund. Because Mama's body has to go home. Yes. She and her family dances like antelopes and they, they dance very well. Yeah, I don't want her to continue dancing and forgetting that was to call another group. Thank you. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, the next people in this very program of event right now is dance performance by grandchildren. The dance performance by the grandchildren. Miss Amanda Ofoka and group. No watch mama. Gabriel never watch a 
na so say si kwa msuwa na yoruba ba do master e ku ba do online okay thank you thank you boy that's my cousin one of the songs we have to wait a little bit yes ah, i was telling nigeria i was also saying more like i can check it more Okay. Can you tell me, can you? In a G, Kadam, Paso, Seipan. So. Yeah, we're waiting for them to change. They want to change. Yeah, when they come out now, we'll do that of the grandchildren. They are coming to dance for their late mama. Then after that, Notre Dame. Notre Dame Parish. That's the way my parish belong, I belong to as well yes they are, they are here the president chief sir imara nabwe and his deputy is here waiting Ladies and gentlemen, a little shift on the program. The shift is that the grandchildren are changing to come in a different style. Meanwhile, I should call the committee of friends of Ifi Ofoka and AJK, his brother, or the wife over there from New York. Please, some of you thought everybody here is from Houston, Texas. We have people from seven states here. People that flew into Houston from different states. Yes, committee of friends, please. Let's go. DJ Brown. <laughs> committee of friends of if Foka, please. Let's go. Yes. Uh, Committee of friends, committee of friends. Let's go. Both man and woman, committee of friends. Let's go, guys. I don't choco. I don't choco, choco. Oh, no, 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 no. I like it when your body do. Oh, no, 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 no,
Children of late, isn't there, Mrs. Florence Obioma Ohabo? The grandchildren led by Miss Amanda Ofoka and the group of companies. Let's go, guys. Give them this a young kiss. Okay. On the grandchildren's dance. Let's go. 
fourth place. Yes, this is a third family. One family, their mother, their, his, her children, they all dance like ants and then antelopes. I told you that the blood of dancing is in their system. They are all the same mom, the same mama. They all dance like nobody has ever danced in life. Yes, DJ Brown, thank you very much. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, after picking the money on the floor right here, we're going over to the next group of people. And that's my, my very nice parish. One of the biggest parishes of the Catholic Church in the whole Texas. And I'm happy to welcome the PRO, who's supposed to introduce the president, even though I know the president. Notre Dame African Catholic Community. Mrs. Marriott Okay, Abba. PRO, Notre Dame Catholic Parish. Come and take the microphone from me, please. And introduce your members, which I'm one of them. God bless you, man. Good evening, everyone. We are here to mourn with our sister. Because, like our president usually says, whenever one of us is mourning, we all mourn with the person. So, Permit me at this hour to bring out our president, the African community of natural Dame, president, and the person of Sir Emmanuel Nunavu, to please step forward to come and usher out at the end. Our president, Sir Emmanuel Nunabo, please, can you step forward? Also, we have the women's wing. We want to introduce or to invite our president. Fortunately for us, we have the couple who in our parish, no parish in Houston, Texas, that has both a husband and a wife, ruling, leading the church group, other than Notre Dame. She is the president of the CWO of Notre Dame. Let me hand over the microphone to our president. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Um, this is not our usual PRO, you know her, right? But um, she's been crying for Mama. So we understand. And uh, from this night going forward, it's going to be celebration for Mama. Amen? Um, let's say ladies first. And they let to Mama. Hallelujah! Women of Notre Dame, praise the Lord. Hallelujah! I didn't hear you. I know we're louder than that. Women of Notre Dame, praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Can we shout a big hallelujah to the risen Lord? Uh, we are here on behalf of our sister. If you are fucking, she is one of us. In CWO Notre Dame. And um, 
we all knew Mama, and uh, we know how much if he tried. That is an example of a Christian woman. If he showed a very good example of how to take care of your mom, how to take care of your parents, and that's what um, the Christian teaching and our cultural teaching is all about. Not when mom is sick or dad is sick, you package him or her, take the person home, and you'll be sending only money. She was there, I mean, for her mom. And we pray that her children will take care of her, not on sick bed, but at old age. And she will live to see her children's children, and then they will give her joy, and then they will take care of her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And for CWO women, uh, she followed the example of Mary in doing her duty as a woman. It is something we all should emulate. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is light of action, it's not light of speech. So I'm going to hand over to the to our general president for the for the African community. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't worry, she is Sister Franca. Amen. Sister Ivy, please come forward. And uh, I want you to come with all the family. DJ, just give us a second. Amen. And I want you to understand this. Sister Ivy, please look at Mama. You see the smile? It's meant for when she's not here. Because she's happy for what is happening this night. Amen. And going forward. Amen. That's why she put up this smile. Because there is no greater blessing than being surrounded on the table by your children and children's children. Am I wrong? And they have shown Mama the love and you exceedingly have shown it. So I want you to look at that smile and that's what you take forward from today. Don't worry about Mama leaving because God will fill the void. Amen. But always cherish the memory you shared with her and that is why she's happy. Amen? Amen. I want to call on the Vice President, the Brother Eugene, to lead the floor. And uh, all members of Notre Dame Church, all members of African community, all members of uh, CWO, as your president has uh, invited you, all Christians and all friends and well wishers to join us on the floor to show our family the love that we always share. Amen? Amen.
coming to identify with you, we are telling that we love you. Okay, stand up. Come on, sisters, so we can take picture. And CCTV, whatever you see in our envelope is what is coming from our heart, is what we've always done. But above all, we're going to support you with our prayers. It is more important than anything, okay? It is more important than anything. We're going to support you with our prayer. Our lady will lead you out safely, and everything will go safely in the name of Jesus. Teacher. Okay, can we turn around? Thank you so much, ladies. Do not move. You are also part of African community. Stay where you are. Praise God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, amen. DJ Brown. Please, uh, glory to Jesus. If you are a member of Notre Dame, CW or African community, please, can you remain on the floor wherever you are? Because at Notre Dame, like I said, we are people of faith, but we are very hard working. A lot of us have four or five jobs. Amen? And what we do is, in addition to our prayer, we also give you the proceed of our work. Amen? And uh, Sister B, what we want to tell you is, going forward, you have tried a lot of our work. It's not going to end. Remember your faith of the life to come, of the world to come, of the resurrection, and we're going to meet with Mama again. And having said that, this is from African community of Notre Dame. And uh, like we always say, how many fishes? And how many loaves? How many people will eat feed? A million, right? So, keep this on the altar of God. You will never run out. You will never lie. Mama will always remember her whenever third Sunday of the month comes around. Because her seat, God will fill it for us. Amen? Amen. She is part and parcel of us, and she will never depart from us. Amen. Like I told you, always remember the smile and carry on. Our prayers will continue to sustain you. May the soul of Mama and the souls of all the faithful departed. May the soul of Mama and the souls of all the faithful departed. May the soul of Mama and the soul of all the faithful departed. Eternal rest grant her, Lord. And let the best of shine Eternal rest grant her, O Lord. And let the best of shine upon Eternal rest grant her, O Lord. And let the best of shine upon May the peace of God be with you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. community who uh, love you and we appreciate your kindness and show sure of appreciation to if you Africa. Thank you again, the President Sir Emmanuel Nabue and the executives Sir Fimba, my one is the Secretary, the PRO, Mrs. Marriott Ogiabai, who thank you all for your kindness. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call another group. Yeah, please. Yeah, this time, ladies and gentlemen, I want 
you. The next group coming up here is Enugu State Indigenous. I think DJ Brown knows already. Enugu State Indigenous, please. Oya abuna be Enugu, me kula upo Enugu, me norwa Enugu, me jesku Enugu, me babo Enugu, mama mage si Enugu papa kula yasti. You are called on the stage right now. Enugu State Indigenous should be on the floor. This is a vocal story. Let's go. Yes, Biko, DJ Brown, take it easy, take it easy. The president of uh, HESO, Houston, Texas, is not yet here. The president of EPU, Honorable Alex Ozoma, is here. Honorable Alex Ozoma, are you here? Honorable Alex Ozoma, is he gone? Okay, DJ, give us music. Let's show the love. Yes, I am the woman. 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 I am the Yeah. 
On a abouti à la cinquième du président de Vézia de Mer. Donc, Mrs. Francis Kelly, du président de Vézia de Mer. Donc, on dit, donc, Mrs. Kelly, on a abouti à la cinquième du président de Vézia de Mer. Donc, on dit, on a abouti à la cinquième du président de Vézia de Mer. Donc, on dit, on a
on the floor. My fellow members, people, Thank you, thank you, uh, Dr. Mrs. Jenny. Thank you very much. Uh, Biko, a Zag man, whatever you have been. Join your uh, Why? Come on, join us together. Let's take the honor of the woman you do. Uh, a Zag man, please. Join us
What is that? Oh, why are you for me? That's good to say photo, group photograph. Doctor OJ, OJ, hello. We welcome you, sir. You're welcome. We we'll honor you. Omeloha. I'm going to VP you on the floor there. Did you give me a bachelor? You want to jail on our year? No, 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 no,